Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. I have got my last palette to open from Bulk.com when I went to pick up my huge load. So I'm gonna tell you all the specs and show you what's in it. All right, let's just get to it and I'm gonna tell you the specs on this particular palette. This is a Bulk.com palette of uninspected returns. It has 512 items. It retails at $10,319. Obviously on that retail, um, I know that I'm not going to get $10,000. I usually get 20 to 30% kind of on that. And women's apparel, dream suit, belly bandit assets is what the title was on this particular one. My cost was $556. Plus I took a truck down to the bulk.com warehouse and made sure that I, um, you know, added all of my expenses up there and then divided it by the number of pallets that I got, which equaled out to be $76 per pallet. That's not something you can currently do right now at bulk.com, but hopefully it will be available in the future. Um, and so 556 plus my $76 of shipping equals $632, which makes my average per item $1.25. Um, your cost, if you would have bought this offline, would have been $556, just like me, $200 of flat rate shipping right to your door for a total of $756, so your cost per item would have been $1.48. So let's go ahead and get in here. Um, part of the reason why I even got into looking at these types of uh, palettes was because I do Poshmark now, and I sell a lot more clothing than I used to in the past, and so we're going to just open this right up and see what kind of stuff we got. All right. So it's full almost totally to the brim. I'm gonna try to go as quick as possible. 512 items is quite a lot. And so we're gonna just try to cruise through this so you get to see each and every item. If you're interested in anything, go ahead and check out my Poshmark store for any clothing related items. If you don't see it on my Poshmark store, it's probably already sold or I got the opportunity to go ahead and send it into the Amazon warehouse. So we're just gonna go right ahead and get started. So most of these things um, for um, uninspected returns, I'm looking at condition and does it have tags? So this is a pair of, um, looks like polar bear PJ pants with tags. We've got some stretch boyfriend cut underwear. And sometimes if there's not a whole pack, but it looks brand new, I'll um, make a big bundle on my Poshmark store. Um, here's a pair of black leggings. Um, this is a full pack, but the box is ripped. So it's not an Amazonable thing, but definitely in Poshmark. Then, of course, this is obviously Christmas time worthy for sure. So I'm going to kind of do my winter seasonal over there because what I do when I get done is I'll box everything up in specific seasons. Um, here's an Ava Aviv, nice, um, just 1X shirt. Oh, here's another Christmas shirt. I think it's the same kind. Sure is, I think. We've got a nice long sleeve top with some kind of peasant style sleeves, purple and black. Trying to cruise right along through these. This is a, lar a relatively large kind of leopard print jumper with a zipper down the front. <clears throat> Here is a tank top. Um, an XXL size, so that's perfect summer wear. That's a good time of the year right now to sell it because it's currently springtime. There's a pair of a size 10 high-rise skinny jeans with tags on them. Everything so far that I've pulled out has tags, tags except for maybe the underwear packs, and I'll have to check and make sure everything is actually in there. Let's see what this is. This looks like a spaghetti. Oop. Good thing I swept my floor before we started. Um, spaghetti strap PJs with shorts. Uh, purple Ava and Viv with some cute lace sleeves on them. A swimsuit, green swimsuit. Perfect time of the year. Perfect time of the year for that. All right, this is probably another PJ set. I'm gonna be careful now that I know it's two. Yep, shorts and then a gray tank top. 
What in the world? It's, <laughs> it's like how they taped it together. It's ridiculous. Some sort of a bumblebee. You know, I'm going to pull this tape off because that's ridiculous. Try not to destroy the tag so that I... Ex Ooh, I'm going to destroy the tag. So I'm going to leave the tape on the tag part and not cut the item. Um, because if I destroy the tag, then I have no barcode. So this is a... Some, oh, it's like a, a union suit, like onesie bumblebee. It's kind of creepy looking. <laughs> I'm going to throw it over in the winter pile. All right, here is a pair of cutoff. I think they're supposed to be capris, size 18. Um, but they have like kind of a fringy cut bottom on the bottom. Uh, let me see. We've got a bra. Bras sell really good for me, and a lot of mine have been able to go on Amazon if they're in good condition. So I'll throw that over here. Try to get this sweater out. There we go. All right, really nice kind of cardigan sweater. Very, it's kind of a heavier one, heavier weight one. So I'm going to throw that with tags. Good condition, no picks or pulls in it. Here is a gray... Just plain shirt, t-shirt. Do you feel like you can make your dollar and a quarter back on these items? Yeah, I definitely think that I can make my dollar and a quarter back. I might have to keep this sweatshirt because I'm a Michigan fan. I grew up in Michigan and I'm a Wolverine fan. So that one's in winter style, unless I keep it myself. Getting ready to have a garage sale. I'm super excited. Uh, get rid of some of just my excess stuff. Um, skinny jeans, size 16. Um, here's a nice sweatshirt with some fun detail in the kind of the peasant style sleeves. Here is something that looks akin to a unicorn. That is awesome. It's a unicorn <laughs> PJ suit. I think Heather needs to wear that. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm good. I think I can all pass. You don't want to try that on for your YouTube channel? Uh, maybe at the end. I'll set it to the side. I could be a unicorn with rainbow hair. All right. It probably won't fit, <laughs> but here we go. So here is a cute sleeveless dress. Perfect time of the year to sell that. This sweatshirt I'm going to throw over here. Try to keep it organized, make less busyness for me at the end. Uh, another pair of blue jeans, high rise skinny jeans, size 16. That's the second pair of size 16s I pulled out. Do size 16 sell a little better? Size 16 sell really well um, on Poshmark. These are 16 as well uh, because um, like size small and mediums generally don't go real fast on Poshmark because you can find all those kinds of stuff really clearanced on re in a regular store. Um, but 16s are kind of an extra large size, um, kind of borders on large. So 14, uh, 14, 16 in jeans and up usually sell really well. This is a size 18. So that's kind of equivalent to an XXL size. Um, and so if you get any of those sizes, they're going to sell really well for you. Here's a size 18 wide leg. These almost look like they, they're a size 18. So I guess they're women's, but they look like a men's style, but all right. A pair of yoga pants, some more underwear, some Christmas PJs with Santa Claus on them. They're like a flannel style Christmas PJs. Um, here is a, a onesie. Look at the back. Just in case you need access. <laughs> you need to go to the bathroom? There you go. You don't have to take the whole thing off. All right. Let's see. A pair of size 16 short skinny jeans. That's a lot of size 16s. I'm hoping I find some duplicate of some outfits. Um, here's another bra, which are always really good sellers. I usually make anywhere from $15 to $20 on, an, on the Amazon platform with those style. Um, more underwear, just kind of loose. They look brand new, but they're just not in their original package. Here is um, some more Santa Claus reindeer kind of PJs. Here is another, what does it say? Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. That is awesome. It's like a yoga Christmas sweater. That's awesome. So those yogis out there can buy it. Um, 
These look like bathing suit bottoms or shorts. They're listed as intimate, so they might just be underwear. Um, here is a nice black sweater. It's a lighter weight one. Uh, lighter weight, we'll put it over there. I'm trying to sort as I empty here. This is a long kind of sweatshirt dress. Some of those are maternity that we found before. Oh yes, let me maternity. look. Yes, this one is an Isabel maternity. Yep, so we're gonna put that over here because we wanna list it right away. Uh, maternity sells really well as well. So here is a size zero skinny jeans. These will probably sit on my Poshmark store for a while um, just because size zero doesn't sell very fast. Um, here's some stay up fit kind of uh, tights. Here is, this is kind of a cute shirt, three quarters length, uh, just kind of a brown stripey, a new day shirt. Here's a pair of blue jeans, high rise skinny skater jeans with the wide legs. So maybe that's what those black ones were too. I'm just not up on all the fancy stuff. Ooh, I think I have this coat already in another box I got. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got this one. And so the nice thing is I'll be able to just take my current listing I have and just add it to it. Oh, here's another one. So that's two of the same kind of jackets. Um, some unicorn slippers to go with the unicorn onesie. We'll throw that over there. Might make the, the, the ensemble complete. Here is a really heavy duty XXL cardigan. So this is a good size one. Doesn't look like it's supposed to come with a belt. So that's nice. There's another one of those jackets with the gold buttons. Here is co cozy sleep set. It's a um, <laughs> nutcracker who's upside down says crushed it. So here is a kind of a sweater cardigan knitted. So we'll put that over in the winter pile. Another sweater. So obviously you can see why these were put in liquidation because it is springtime now. And so um, they're wanting to move all these things out of their store. Here is a sweatshirt that says love on it. And then on the sleeves, it says love. I don't know if that's PJs or a sweatshirt. We'll have to look it up. Here's a pair of flannel pants. Um, C-section undies. I know there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of um, maternity kind of stuff, belly bandit. So I think those are the things you wear post-pregnancy. A pair of sweatpants, almost look like kid size or junior size. Here is a flannel shirt. Oh, that's winter. I'll throw that over there. All right. Here is kind of a robe. Uh, cover up. Yeah, cover up for swimsuit. Oh, all right, here is this. It looks just like the other jacket, but it's actually navy blue. So, to make sure that I notice the difference there, another navy blue one. Then we've got this cute shirt. What's it say? It's a Marvel? Ghost spider? Yeah, ghost spider. It says Marvel on it. Oh, here's the black one with the gold buttons again. Different size. That one's a larger size. Here is a nice sleeveless top for summertime. All right. Some stretchy yoga pants. These are an XXL. I'm trying to make sure I don't step on my microphone so you can still hear me. All right, here is a nice heavy duty sweater, really soft, pink, pinkish coral kind of color. Here's a couple more. Here's a black one of the exact same style. Here's another black one. I'm trying to find similar items so we can move through it. Pair of underwear. 
Underwear, underwear. Ooh, I see some shoes in here. A pair of shoes. Really cute kind of taupe nude ones. So we're gonna put those there. Hopefully we can find those online already. There's another shirt. Oh, same shirt with a Marvel one. This is a, sh a top with kind of a tie in the front. With, it's kind of a teal green with some flowers on it. Here is a yellow long sleeve shirt. What do you do if you find that they're dirty when you open them? Uh, if I find something, here's some more underwear. If I find something dirty, I usually donate it. I may try to spot treat it a little bit, but I generally don't like to take the time for that. $1.24 per item, I just throw it in the donate pile or I will throw it away if it's really, really dirty and gross. I found some things that have been covered in cat hair before. Here's a sports bra and things like that. So, um, you know, I do my best to try to resell it, but I don't want to sell anything that's not in good condition to any of my customers. Here's kind of a crop top. Some more underwear. Here is kind of a suede sweater, lightweight. Here, what does this say? Slay, slay all day with Minnie and Mickey Mouse. So that'll for sure sell. I see something leopard print. It's at the bottom. I'll have to get it in a minute. All right. Sweatshirt. I think I pulled one of those out already. Here is a, looks like a dress. Some sort of a burgundy dress. No, that's just kind of a peplum top. It's just a larger size peplum top. We're gonna put that over there. Um, here's a puffer coat, if I can get it out. There we go. Puffer coat. Nice green one. Perfect for spring. Yeah, perfect for spring. So it's in good shape. It looks like the zippers all work and there's no ripping or tearing. So set this over here. That'll go in my winter box so that I list all of my general kind of lightweight sweaters all right now. And then anything that's obviously clearly summertime, like it's sleeveless or a swimsuit or anything on the naughty list, um, that'll get listed right away. And so I organize everything into boxes and then that's how I list. So here's a lightweight sweater. So this one is not a real thick sweater. And so I'm gonna put it over here in this pile and it'll get thrown in my general list and get, here's another pink one, just like it. Um, it'll get listed right away. But something like this, that's real heavy sweater material is for sure gonna go in the winter pile and probably not get listed for, you know, another month or not, not a month, but a couple weeks at least. So here's another heavy sweater. So that's a good way if you buy one of these big uh, loads uh, to kind of separate out so it doesn't seem so overwhelming. Another sweater exactly like I just pulled out. Has that been a recent development you're separating? Yes, I used to just list everything at once because I'd only buy cases and that would be about a, um, uh, like, you know, 150 items or so at once. But when you're getting something with 512 items like this case, uh, you have to kind of organize how you want to list things and list things so that they're actually going to sell. Eight Crazy Nights. So this is clearly Christmas related. Hanukkah. Yeah, sorry. Holiday Hanukkah related. Yeah, not Christmas. Here's another one with Hanukkah um, symbols on it. Um, so yeah, so that's something that I've just recently started doing just to keep my brain from feeling overwhelmed and like I'm just spinning my wheels. Here's another t-shirt just like I pulled out. It also will flood your posh store. Yeah, if you flood your posh store with a bunch of winter stuff, then nobody wants to look at it anymore. So, um, Stranger Things t-shirt. Um, and so it helps to bring the right traffic at the right times um, and to always kind of stay current. Here's that leopard print jacket. I think I need to try it on because it's crazy looking. If I can figure out how to put it on. There we go. It's got weird short sleeves. Look at this. It's made for a little person. <laughs> Hold on. It fits. Kind of. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. <laughs> but you are still beautiful. <laughs> All right. 
So that's going to clearly go in the winter pile. All right, I've got some more just random pack of champion underwear. Oh, here's another one of those jackets. I like to see multiples because then uh, it's not going to take me as long to list it. Another jacket with the gold buttons. Um, here's a swimsuit top. So that's clearly going to go on this side for listing right away. Um, more underwear. And I've gotten a lot of underwear sets in the last few palettes I've opened, so I'm going to make sure that I combine all the same sizes and probably just say new without package um, set because they are brand new. Um, tank top. Here is suck it in tummy control panties. Here is, looks like a Santa Claus union suit. Let me hold this. Well, it's kind of with a tie. Yeah, it's got like a Santa Claus button shirt on it. And a uh, velvet dress. So that one's more, mm, we'll throw it over here. And I'll go back through into a secondary kind of sorting just to make sure that I'm putting everything. Cause I'm doing it kind of on the fly right now, pair of black pants. Um, and so I go back through a pair of underwear and redo it uh, just so I feel like I have everything where I need. Um, winter socks, some nylons. Um, now this is an interesting condition. Look at this. It's kind of, it's still new in package, but it's all gross and dirty. So that's something that I clearly probably won't even sell. I'll probably just throw it away because there's not enough money in nylons. I'm just going to throw it down there on the floor. Uh, that way don't, I don't even have to look at it later. So. I want my customers to have good stuff. So this is very lightweight pair of yoga pants. How many things come dirty normally? Uh, generally in a palette this size, I probably get 512 items. I'd say maybe I get a total of 10, you know, um, things that are just like, ew, gross. I'm not going to resell that. Um, or it's not necessarily you're gross, but just it's dirty. It's got some dust on it. Like I've got a one palette. Here's a sweater. Uh, one palette, I got a bra that just was not cleanable because it was white and it must have gotten on the warehouse floor before it was shipped. Um, like this has a stain on it. This is like a suck it in. I don't know if you can see it. I can see it real well right here. Um, and so that one's for sure not going to get resold. Uh, but for the most part, everything is relatively clean. Uh, with tags on it, but I would say some of it is dirty and then some of it might have a pick or a tear um, And that's what I would consider in that 10 that I said here's a black jean jacket So that's definitely a springtime item Here's a lightweight sweater. I pulled out some just like that before um, A blue hoodie Ooh, That's really soft and comfy. I might have to keep that one. I Think I might keep that one. This one's going over here <laughs> So, all right, pair of dress pants, really nice sharp dress pants. Slowly making a dent. Swimsuit, perfect time of the year for that. I'm gonna put that here. I'm kind of putting everything I'm gonna wanna post right away in that direction. Here is a gray sweater. Here's another sweater. I pulled those out before. My pile's gonna fall over here. All right, here is a blue sweater. Oh, really nice jacket. It's really sharp. It's a black jacket. And then we've got a bunch of white sweatshirts in here. So these are just kind of generic -y looking sweatshirts. They're gonna go over in the winter pile. I've got a bunch of them. I'm just gonna keep, pull them all out as I see them. All the same ones, probably various sizes, I would imagine, but looks like I got them all. Don't forget, I'm going to try to see if I can wear the unicorn outfit. Another heavy duty sweater. Here is, uh, this is just like the gray ones I've been pulling out, but it's kind of peachy looking. Here's a pair of PJ shorts. I think this is just like the first pair I pulled out. Here is a white uh, long sleeve top, but very lightweight. 
Here is kind of a cream turtleneck sweater. A pair of shoes. These wedges, these, see, these are going to sell really, really well um, simply because they're black and they're wedges and they're just in really good condition with the tag and everything. Uh, more Christmas PJs. Um, a scarf, because that's what you need in the springtime. Sell great in the winter though. Yep, yep, they do. They do. That's why I'm gonna wait. I'll have most of my winter stuff listed for sure by um, August. I know that sounds crazy because it's the hottest time of the year. Some gloves. Um, but you want to have them on there ahead of time so that when they're actually looking, uh, they're available. So rule of thumb, see what Walmart does. Yeah. Basically change your seasonal stuff when Walmart does. Pulled one of those out already. So I'm seeing lots of duplicates, which I'm really excited about. Here's a cowl neck kind of sweatshirt dress. So it's a heavier duty one, so I'm gonna throw it in the winter pile. Um, this, oh, it's two separate shirts. Um, it's a tank top that goes with the sheer overlay. So that's for sure gonna go over here. Um, pair of yoga pants, those are good all year round. People wear them all year round, so I'm gonna put them in the general pile, which means they're gonna get listed sooner than the winter stuff. Should men wear yoga pants? The men should never wear yoga pants. That's just wrong. Don't don't wear yoga pants if you're a guy. I feel don't do it. Yeah, you feel gypped, um, don't you? Because you wish you could experience the joy of yoga pants. All right, here's a cute purple sheer top. And then here's another this long kind of tunic style top. Uh, let's see, some jeans. Jeans usually I throw in the general pile. They get, they get listed all year long because even in the summertime people wear jeans. So um, here's a joyful winter set. It's a PJ with some socks and a, and a hat. So you can kind of tell the picture. Uh, here's some more of those navy blue with gold buttons jackets that I had seen before. My winter pile is getting awfully tall, but it makes sense that it would be liquidated in the springtime um, right now. So that just makes sense, you know, because that's when you can get it. So if you're willing to keep the stuff or have the space to keep the stuff until winter time, you're going to sell it much better. But you can still sell winter stuff now, swimsuit bottom with a skirt. You can still sell some winter stuff now because you can't find it in the stores anywhere. And if they're going to a cooler climate, they'll need some things like hoodies and sweaters and cardigans and stuff like that. Or if they're just a person, another one of these sweaters, that's more underwear that is just cold in general, then that's an option for them too. Um, a bra with a front clasp. Uh, here is a swimsuit bottoms and a bra. So I know I'm kind of cruising fast through this one, but I don't want to be here forever because of the 500 and 12 items. Here's a cardigan. We're going to throw that because it's kind of a lighter weight one. You're doing great. Thanks. All right, pair of black pants. Um, set of Jillian and O'Malley PJs, still all nicely wrapped up. Some more underwear. Um, I think I have this, well, maybe not. This is a lighter weight sweat sweater, and so I'm gonna put it over here on this side. Um, let's see, some athletic socks, hot pink. Some winter socks. Here is another lighter weight sweater. Here is a set of PJs with Santas on them. Another one of those jackets with the gold buttons. This is a lightweight sweater. Let's see, another lightweight sweater. I think I already pulled one of those out. Um, some yoga pants. Another one of those jackets. Boy, there's a lot of these in there. They're really in good condition too. 
All right, some hose and some socks. Let's put these over here. Let's see what this is. A dress? No, a romper. It's got pants in it. I think that's what you call them. Rompers, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. All right, here's a pair of jeans, 20 women's. Those are going to sell really fast. Ooh, I just noticed the detail on these. I was get, going in a hurry. Look at the bottoms of those. They kind of have funky fading patchwork on them. So those are kind of fun. Here's a blue jacket with the gold buttons or kind of bronzy buttons. Here's two more black ones. Um, cute plaid long tunic shirt. That's for sure going to get listed right away. Here's some more of those white sweatshirts. I pulled a big pile of them out before. Another one of these kind of peach coral sweaters. Uh, some yoga pants. Let's see. Some more black yoga pants. All right, here's a long, looks kind of like a nightgown, but I don't know. No, it looks like a shirt. It's got peasant style sleeves on it. Um, some blue and gold stars PJs. Another pair of jeans with distressed looks. These, this one might be capris because they're cuffed at the bottom like that. A uh, set of PJs. What in the world is this? <laughs> okay, it's a PJ set. Is it a llama? Yes, it's a pink striped llama. I don't know if you can see the face real well. Is it a llama or a sheep? You tell me, llama or sheep. All right, it's amazing. It's amazing. Adult onesies is what it is. Already pulled one of these out. PJ set. Here is a Christmas sweater. Let's see. A black kind of softball style um, sweater. It's real heavy, so I'm going to put it over here. Swimsuit. Perfect time of the year for a swimsuit. That's a good condition. It still has tags on it. Original price $40 on that one. Um, leggings, plain white t-shirt, um, more yoga pants. Now these are cool yoga pants. Look at the crisscross on the front of those. Those are kind of fun. Uh, they're capris actually too. Um, let's see. A lightweight turtleneck. A pair of yoga pants. All right, I need to cut the box down a little bit so I can get in here. So as you can see, lots and lots of stuff. And just because um, it's right now liquidated, they still have some summer stuff in there like swimsuits. So, I mean, I don't know why they ended up being inside of a box full of sweaters and sweatshirts, but um, you know, if you wanna sell stuff now, and like I said, you can't find it in the stores right now. You cannot find hoodies at all in the stores. I went to go look for one because the weather got a little cold and you cannot find hoodies inside the stores. And so um, if you've got anything that's kind of a lightweight sweater or sweatshirt, right now is a good time to sell it because you can't find it anywhere else. Here's a pair of really cute, they're kind of fuzzy, little, uh, kind of like the Chucka boots. So. Here is a pink, cute sweatshirt style top. Uh, let's see, just a plain white long sleeve shirt. There's a couple of those in there. Oh, I, this is a different style of shirt with some peasant sleeves on it. Uh, more underwear. So a green top, peasant style. Leggings, another one of those jackets with the buttons. 
think I pulled a, oh, this is a pair of pants. A little kind of overall style pair of pants, floral. All right, PJs. Another set of those star PJs. Um, some underwear, some winter PJs. I'm gonna put those over here. Here is a um, really cute dress, sleeveless dress. Um, PJs, winter PJs. Put those down there. Let's see, what does this say? The real world. The real world. Wow, that's an old shirt. <laughs> I remember when that was on TV. All right, that had boots in it. What is this? Oh, one of those maternity uh, sweaters. And a lot of times I'll keep these too to put the item back in to protect them or I'll rebag it in a nicer thing. Here's a green sweater cardigan. So I'm gonna get this out of my way all together because I keep tripping on it. There we go. <laughs> Violent with my box cutter. All right, that's a lot easier. Woo, this is a good find. So remember, um, $1.24 is what I paid for these. So really cute kind of, um, Really nice zip up boots. Women zip up boots. Here's another pair of shoes. So a pair of black um, strappy boots, or sandals with a high heel on them. Let's see what else is in here. Really lightweight, looks like a button up shirt. So I'm getting some stuff that would be perfect for selling for now. This says, dream on, baby. I think I got this t-shirt in another palette I did. All right, what, are, what in the world are these? They're boots. Okay, hold on, let me set this over here so I can kind of really show you what they are. So they're knitted kind of crocheted boots. And then look, you, they have little kind of buttons on the side where you button them together. So they're, and they're made for walking outside. So those are cute. All right, here is a button up black shirt. Some nylons, some underwear. Another thing of nylons. Sorry, I'm trying not to fall in the box. All right, here is a green sweater. I think I pulled one of those out before. Light, uh, can't remember where I put it. We'll find where the other ones are. Here is a long sweater dress. Got a piece of hair in my mouth. There. All right, purple, nice top, lightweight. Um, here is a cardigan, lightweight cardigan. I've got some green ones for sale just like that. Green and gray, I believe. Um, that yellow is kind of in, kind of a mustard yellow is in style right now. Really cute sleeveless dress with a peephole back. That's super cute. Uh, here's another dress, another one of those. I'm going for a yellow theme right now. We're just gonna pull out all the yellow stuff. Peasant style stop. Peasant style top. I couldn't talk there for a minute. Here's some more yellow. What does that say? Good vibes, society. Here's another one of those. Oh, no, I thought it was a cardigan, but it's not. It's a sweat, lightweight sweater. Um, pair of swimsuit bottoms. Really cute, just kind of, it's a Santa face. So we're gonna stick it over here in the winter pile. Really cute, Ooh, another one of those kind of jumper, romper style, overall style, 
once. Christmas PJs. Pair of kind of blush pink jeans, size four. All right, here is a cute floral dress. Striped top, lightweight. Oh, we pulled out one of these already. It was one of those rompers. T-shirt looks like. Anything on it? Something. You had me at Merlot <laughs> for wine. All right, here's one of those crocheted cardigans. It's got a random bull head on it. Very cute, it's lightweight. I'm gonna throw it over there. Peasant style blue top with cold shoulder sleeves. All right. Paris, long sleeve shirt. Those are always popular, some underwear. Um, here's another bra with tags on it. This is a strapless stay up power band. Here is swimsuit with a cute kind of white and blue belt on it. Oh, uh, this looks like a t-shirt or a long sleeve shirt. Peasant style black top. Here is a hoodie. This will sell really good right now, believe it or not. Does it say Akuna Matata? Akuna Matata. Sleeveless, nice, dressy top. I promise we'll get done eventually. It's like the marathon unboxing. Pair of black pants. All right, what is this? This is a dress. Yes, long sleeveless dress, jersey dress. Um, towels. Set those down there. Uh, let's see. T-shirt. More towels. I generally don't tell, sell the towels unless it's a whole set. So those just end up getting thrown in the garage. So I think these are maternity pants. Here's some more of those crocheted tops. If I can get them all out without pulling them. Really cute peasant style top. The Rolling Stones, long hoodie. Got a hood on it. Just a random makeup bag, it looks like. What's it got in it? Makeup. No, footballs or, or it's got pink basketball, soccer ball, football, and baseball. It's really cute. I'm gonna set that down there. That's kind of fun. I don't know if it's supposed to be an accessory bag or what. Uh, swimsuit. Another um, bra. A blue pants romper. This looks like a maternity. Might be. A pair of yoga pants that have a lot of fun details on them. PJs, some Umbro yoga pants. I got, I think I got those same ones in um, a previous box. Some Grinch PJs, can throw those over in the winter side. Sweater with cute little pearls on the sleeves. Those are kind of cute. Oh, like that cream colored knitted cardigan. It's just a kind of a pale blush color. It's a dress. 
Um, here is a pair of swimsuit bottoms. So, and you can sell swimsuits separates. So here's another pair of yoga pants, uh, 4X. So you can sell swimsuit separates really well on Posh. I've done it pretty good so far. Here's a pair of shorts. So it seems like I'm kind of getting to the bottom of the pile here. Another pair of those same shorts. Um, tank top. That's a cute tank top. Uh, scarf. This is a heavy, heavy duty, kind of a fleece fuzzy turtleneck. My winter pile is awful tall. Another pair of swimsuit bottoms. Kind of a fun detail on them. Pair of shorts, size 14. See, so I'm getting into some summer wear. So this is a good variety, 512 items. Um, this pile over here, short sleeve blue shirt, is pretty good size for being able to list right now. Here is a front clasp bra. Like I said, good thing I swept the floor. Alrighty. So you always want a clean workspace when you're unboxing. Another pair of shorts. A black, it's almost like a windbreaker material. Just a plain purple t-shirt, very soft and comfy. Oh, we've unboxed some of those already. What's this one say? All things jingle, ladies. <laughs> I think there's some uh, innuendo there. All right, pair of underwear. All right, uh, skirt, pleated skirt. Some winter socks. Okay, I see two things that are like this. They might both be the same, but I wanted to pull them both out. This is a kind of a tankini top. And I think this is just the same thing in a different size. Yeah, it looks like it. I wanted to pull them both out to make sure there wasn't like a top and a bottom. So it looks like that would be something you could wear with something like this, just a plain pair of black bottoms. Here's another swimsuit top, kind of a halter style. A white t-shirt with something on it. Merry, Merry, happy, peace, joy, hope, always. We're gonna still stick this in the, even though it sounds Christmassy themed, we're gonna stick it in the other pile because it's short sleeve. Here's a pair of size 16. Look at the fun details on these pants. So they kind of have a beach, uh, bleach faded kind of look to them. These are some fleece checkered PJ pants, definitely winter. There's another pair, throw those up there on the pile. So I'll show you how tall my piles are for each kind of category once we're done. Here's blue short sleeve top. All right, let's see. Try to get everything closer so I'm not breaking my back here. There we go. All righty, turtleneck. Looks like a PJ top. Pair of red and pink yoga pants. You would look amazing in those. Yes, no, I'm not wearing those, sorry. Sorry. I draw the line at that. Aw, cute little kid's shirt. Do kids clothes sell well? On kids box? clothes um, don't sell as well just because most kids t-shirts like that, you're gonna, here's a cute dress. That's actually really cute. Um, kids clothes don't sell as well just simply because it's a lower dollar amount. So this is a shirt with kind of a tie in the front, kind of like a dress. Um, another skirt, kind of a corduroy feel to it. So large variety, ooh, a black cardigan. These sell all year round for everybody and it's a light, nice lightweight one. And so I'm gonna make sure that I put that in the listing that it's a nice lightweight one. 
um, just so they know it's not a heavy winter style. A nice striped t shirt. Let's see what this is. A dress. Swimsuits. Sweater. Sweater, sweater, sweater. Sweater of stuff I've already pulled out. We've got Mount St. Winter over there. Here's another one of those navy blue with the buttons jackets. What's that say? Paris, France. Paris, France. And that was the back, City of Light. I'm going to put that up. Paris stuff sells all the time. So let me see. we got swimsuit bottoms. We've got a long sleeve black shirt, athletic style, um, little baby clothes, sweater, t-shirt. I pulled that one out a million times. This one as well. So a nice dressy top gray another t-shirt metallica t-shirt here is a pair of black shorts swimsuit top uh, one piece swimsuit oh uh, this is a top flower top i pulled one of those out before pjs swimsuit uh, pink cardigan or pink sweater pulled one of those out before more PJs swimsuit bra um, sports bra looks like swimsuit oh, pinky in the brain pinky in the brain t-shirt check out my posh door you can have it Red pair of dress pants, really soft material. Um, PJs, cardigan, swimsuit top, um, sweat a nice floral top. Let's see, this is a swimsuit. Winter gloves, pair of yoga pants, socks, underwear, underwear, let's see, windbreaker, jacket, let's see, swimsuit, oh look at that, kind of a crocheted look to it. Super grandma. Yes, because of the crochet. Mm -hmm. Another one of those t shirts. Oh, uh, let's see. We got a pair of jeans here. And we've got winter PJ pants. Got another swimsuit here. It's navy blue. This is a tankini. Green jeans, capris. Okay, lots of socks, <laughs> just a pile of socks. Kid sizes and regular sizes. Now this one's actually still in its all of its packaging. All right, swimsuit bottoms, another pair of swimsuit bottoms. Uh, winter PJs. It's just a tablecloth, <laughs> random tablecloth. All right, trouser socks, um, a gray sweatshirt. All righty, pull all this stuff close again. I swear we're going to get to the bottom of this pile. Lots of jeans on the bottom, I'm noticing. What is this? Look at that coat. It's a jean jacket. Jean shorts. No, it's a skirt. See, I'm trying to go too fast. All right, uh, swimwear, swimwear, 
swimwear, pair of pants, nylons out of the package, uh, PJ pants, swimwear, 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 swimwear. Nylons. Uh, swimwear. We've pulled that shirt out before. Some PJs that look like an elf. Blue jeans. Blue jean shorts. Blue jean skirt. T-shirt. Pair of black jeans. Regular blue jeans. So lots of jeans at the bottom of this. Oh, there's a there's a skirt for you. Look at that. It's very studly. <laughs> I know that was bad. I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. All right. Skirt. Uh, looks like an overall dress. Red shirt. Dress pants. Swimwear, swimwear, swimwear. I don't know what that gray thing is. Looks like a shirt. Yep. It's like a, yeah, a lot like an exercise big tank top, loose one. Here's a pair of those shorts. Swimwear, swimwear, swimwear. All right, another pair of jeans. More jeans, black jeans, blue jeans. <laughs> I'm just gonna start pulling all the jeans out in piles. Some, some more of those fun kind of patchwork jeans. Um, a dress. I think we pulled that dress out once before. Swimwear, underwear, some underwear, a bunch of these t-shirts, some socks, some PJs, swimwear, swimwear, lots of swimsuits down at the bottom, which are going to be good sales for me. I always do really well with swimsuits. All right, so I'm just gonna have you come close and we're just gonna look at the rest of this because I got a corner that I'm gonna just jump in here and kind of just shuffle through the rest of this palette just so that we're not here forever. So I've got that crocheted cardigan, some of those mustard yellow tops. Here's a cute trench coat dress, it's sleeveless. We've got some jeans, some more jeans, some Christmas socks, some Cut off capris, lots of swimwear here in this corner. Swimwear, swimwear, swimwear. Another studly skirt. I think you guys get the idea. Yeah, I think you get the <laughs> idea. So the rest of it looks to be jeans and swimwear with a couple of long sleeve tops. Um, but a lot of it is all a lot of the repeat of what we've already seen. So I'm about to have a heart attack after this marathon unboxing of this palette. But hopefully you can see what's in a bulk.com palette of uninspected returns, 512 items, retails at $10,000. Um, I'm going to do a second video and um, show you kind of what I think I can make. Um, and I'm also going to try on the unicorn PJs on the second video. That way I can put them on before it even starts. So stay tuned for that. I'll link it at the end of this video. Um, but hopefully I can definitely make my money back and I'll give you some numbers of what I think that I can estimate making in the next video. So hopefully it's been helpful to see what you can get in a bulk.com clothing palette of 512 items. And remember in the end, Jesus wins. You guys are true blessing in my life. Thank you so much for helping me put this content out there to everyone. If you'd like to join these great people, please consider supporting me through my Patreon page. Check the link below. Hey, thanks.
Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.